Hi, welcome to day 17th of my 3 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analyst and business analyst interview question for SQL. So today we'll be solving one question that was asked to one of my colleague in Zomato business analyst interview. So let's see the question first. How many delayed orders does each delivery partner have considering the predicted delivery time and the actual delivery time? So how do we define if it's a delayed delivery, you know, if the predicted delivery time, let's say was 15 minutes and delivery took 20 minutes. So that's going to consider as a delayed uh, you know orders right so let's go ahead and see the table first so in the table we have order id delivery partner name then predicted time and the delivery time so let's go ahead and solve these questions so first we need delivery which is del partner so that's going to need delivery partner name and the count of delayed orders right so delayed orders count we need right this is what we need so we'll go ahead and start writing our query so we need del partner which is the column name i'll just remove this now we need count of delayed you know order so i can just simply say order id and we can just name it as like count of delayed orders right so you can just go ahead and now can use a you know filter by where conditions so now we can say if the you know predicted time if the predicted time is less than the actual delivery time so that's going to consider as a delayed uh, delivery orders right so we can say predicted time predicted time which is our column name is less than delivery time so what we're saying if the delivery took more than the predicted time right so this is the greater one this is the smaller one if the delivery took more than the predicted time so that is considered as a delayed orders now we need to use a group by by the partner because we want to see for each partner what is the total count of you know like delayed delivery orders so we can just go ahead and use a group by here group by del del partner so if i just go ahead and run it they should basically give us the total count of delayed order for each delivery partner so now you can see that partner b which has three total orders that is delayed and partner c also has three total orders delayed and partner a also has three total orders that is delayed delivery basically where it took more than the you know predicted time so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you really like my content do subscribe to my youtube channel so if you want to practice the same i'm going to leave a link in the description so do check it out have a good day take care see you next time